Today we'll learn how to configure redirection to implement policy routing. First, let's get to know the application scenario. On enterprise networks, many users require that devices route packets based on user-defined policies. The process is called policy routing. Redirection is often used on switches to implement policy routing. In the figure to the right, the switch, an aggregate switch, functions as a layer 3 forwarding device. It is dual home to two core routers through two links. One is a high speed link and the other is a low speed link. The LSW, an access switch, functions as a user gateway and downlink, connecting two user network segments. Network segment A, 192.168.10.0-24, and network segment B 192.168.20.0-24. It is required that users on network segment A access an external network through the high speed link and users on network segment B access an external network through the low speed link. Second, check out the configuration roadmap. You can configure redirection to implement policy routing. In policy routing, packets are forwarded according to the path specified in a policy rather than a route generated in the routing table. To implement policy routing, perform the following configurations on the switch. Number 1. Configure two ACLs to permit packets with source IP addresses 192.168.10.0-24 and 192.168.20.0-24 respectively. 2. Configure two traffic classifiers to match the two ACLs respectively so that the switch can differentiate the packets. 3. Configure two traffic behaviors to redirect the packets to 10.1.10.1 and 10.1.20.1 according to the rules that the packets match. 4. Configure a traffic policy to bind the traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors. 5. Apply the traffic policy to the inbound direction of the user side interface. Now that the configuration roadmap has been completed, let's go over the configuration procedure on the switch. Step 1. Configure ACLs. Create advanced ACLs 3001 and 3002 that respectively permit packets with source IP addresses 192.168.10.0-24 and 192.168.20.0-24. If ACLs need to permit packets from multiple network segments, you can configure multiple ACLs accordingly. Step 2. Configure traffic classifiers. Create traffic classifiers C1 and C2 and bind C1 to ACL3001 and C2 to ACL3002. Step 3. Configure traffic behaviors. Create traffic behaviors B1 and B2 and configure actions that redirect packets to 10.1.10.1 and 10.1.20.1. Step 4. Configure a traffic policy. Create a traffic policy P1 and bind the traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors to the traffic policy. Step 5. Apply the traffic policy. Apply the traffic policy to the inbound direction of the user side interface to implement policy routing. After the preceding configurations have been completed, run display commands to check the traffic classifier and traffic policy configurations and check whether the configurations are correct. You can configure redirection on a device to implement policy routing. According to the configuration roadmap, firstly create ACLs. Create an ACL 3001 to permit packets with source IP address 192.168.10.0-24 to 
and mask 0.0.0.255. In the ACL, a wildcard mask is used and 0.0.0.255 indicates a 24-bit mask. After ACL 3001 has been configured, run the display this command to check whether the configuration is correct. Then create an ACL 3002 to permit packets with source IP address 192.168.20 to 24. Secondly, configure traffic classifiers. Create a traffic classifier C1 to match ACL 3001. And then create a traffic classifier C2 to match ACL 3002. Thirdly, configure traffic behaviors. Create a traffic behavior B1 to redirect packets to the next hop at 10.1.10.1. .10 .1. and then create a traffic behavior B2 to redirect packets to the next hop at 10.1.20.1. Fourthly, configure a traffic policy. Create a traffic policy P1 to bind the configured traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors. Bind traffic classifier C1 to traffic behavior B1 and bind traffic classifier C2 to traffic behavior B2. Lastly, apply the traffic policy to the inbound direction of the user side interface. The following uses interface gigabit ethernet 6 slash 1 slash 10 as an example. Enter the interface view and then apply the traffic policy to the inbound direction of gigabit ethernet 6 slash 1 slash 10. The configuration is then complete. You can check whether the configuration is correct by first checking the traffic classifier. You can see the traffic classifier C1 and C2 match ACL 3001 and 3002 respectively. Then check the traffic policy configuration. You can see that traffic classifier C1 is bound to traffic behavior B1 and contains an action to redirect packets to the next hop at 10.1.10.1 .10 and traffic classifier C2 is bound to traffic behavior B2 and also contains an action to redirect packets to the next hop at 10.1.20.1 .10 The configuration results are the same as the expected results Subsequently, packets will be forwarded along the predefined path so that the specified data traffic can be sent to a specified next hop. During this process, you can implement policy routing through redirection. This is all regarding redirection-based policy routing configurations. Thank you very much for listening, and goodbye. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. Where do you find these threads? 
Using Google search, type in all about switches site colon Huawei.com in the search field and click any of the displayed links to enter the Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage. The All About Switches threads describes typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.